building and with the talent that's that's there and um, and insulated by some great veterans. I mean, um, there's so many guys that have done great things in the NHL on the back end and up front and especially in, in, in the Nets. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good pieces there and I just hope to be a part of that. And um, it's super exciting for me and my family. We, uh, we, we literally cannot wait to get down there. It was super nice to hear uh, Cam Fowler reached out. I've played with Kevin Shattenkirk before, so he reached out right away, him and his wife and uh, John Gibson and uh, Derek Grant. There may have been a few more, but if I miss, if I'm missing anyone, I apologize, but it's been super nice. I know that um, anytime I've had a new teammate come, I try to reach out because I know what it means to have that connection. And, um, you know, just to have a familiar face when you get to training camp and a bunch of the wives have texted my wife. And obviously that's very important in the, in the hockey dynamic. So that was great to hear as well. And um, honestly, overwhelming support. I don't think I've been on a team where this many guys have texted me right away. So um, pretty nice feeling. And, uh, make me feel welcome pretty early, which is, you know, very, very special. I've had a lot of experiences as a player and um, personally and as a team, I think I've been through the ups and downs and I think I've seen what it takes to be successful. And um, I've never really um, promoted myself as that. I think that's more of just a little bit of a reputation. And to be honest with, honest with you, that's probably one of the most humbling things you can hear because all you can do, you know, every day is come to the rink and try to make the people you work with and the people that work around you the best they can be in and, and, and the best work environment. And that's all I've ever tried to do. And I think as a young player, I was really lucky to learn from some really good guys that, uh, that really knew how to do it the right way. And that rubbed off of me, I think. And, and to have, you know, a bit of that reputation is um, like I said, it's very humbling and it means a lot because, you know, a lot of times you hear what you can do as a player and this and that, but you know, if you treat people well and you, and you do the right things day in and day out and constantly, I think, you know, that bleeds into a team dynamic. And, you know, for someone to, to think that about you, I think means a lot. It's pretty cool, actually. So Mason is the same agent as I do. So I've heard really good things about him. Um, I followed him a little bit in the Memorial Cup this year. And uh, Jamie uh, Drysdale actually played for the same minor hockey organization I did. So I'm really familiar with his coach. So his co old coach actually texted me today. So that's pretty neat. And then the other two guys, I mean, you see the numbers they put up and the, and the skill and um, the talent. And um, I, I think... Uh, I think it's just exciting. I, I see a ton of opportunity. I think, um, you know, obviously fans are going to be looking forward to the future. And as an older guy, or I guess I don't feel, feel like an older guy, but I guess I am now, but um, I think you just try to come in and add to that. I mean, obviously they're on pretty good career trajectories. You don't really want to say too much. Let, let them do their thing. And um, I think we want to just try to win some hockey games. We got some good older guys and hopefully we can come in here and uh, continue to grow as a team. That seems to be the direction everything's headed in. Um, you know, a bit of a turnover, losing some guys that have been here for, you know, decades. And th that, that, <laughs> uh, that isn't necessarily easy to, uh, you know, to replace. But, you know, I think we're trying to do that. And um, it's super, very exciting. And, uh, you know, I can't I can't wait to be honest with you.